and a very warm welcome if you just join me on my channel 93 on things how you doing how are you keeping hope everybody's safe and sound where you are yesterday Jeff P showed a video in that video there was this picture and I need to pull it apart I need to address this picture because so many different things are going on in this picture it's absolutely crazy and I see a number of things the first question we've got to ask ourselves should that be on camera no it shouldn't the second thing I've observed this is totally totally different color to this and thirdly every time we get one of these we've got a lensing system in front of our Sun but in this case it's in front of the moon and I'm trying to work out where this is coming from I'm just looking at this going straight up and you can see there's a flash of green just there it's really hard to bring out and uh, I'll adjust the brightness and contrast in it and see if we can make any better but I'm looking around here going that is a lensing system and it looks like a kaleidoscope uh, diffusion of light but then I noticed something else which if we zoom in, let me just zoom in here. I must show you. We're looking at this object here. And you can see. Yeah. It's red on the inside. It's sort of like a turquoise colour on the outside. But then I noticed this. Just here. In fact, it looks like a big, great big light bulb. Don't know if you notice. There you go. So let's bring the brightness and the contrast and have a play with it and see what we get. And something quite amazing happens. That uh, object sort of like stands out a little bit more. Let's just drag it down. And you can see, it just looks like, yeah, if I was to cut and paste that into there, that would fit perfectly and around the outside you can see this lensing system and possibly on the inside there it looks like there's one spinning one way and one spinning the other way maybe I'm wrong hey it's for you to decide and then I found a few more bits and pieces and let me show you those and Jeff this one is a stonker mate I've got to say so let's go to 100% and then what we'll do is go to colors auto equalize and look what we have here now is that a big red object or is that a projection or is that actually a projection just there don't rightly know let's play with the uh, brightness and the contrast and see what we get And you can see, there you go. Let's take that all the way to the bottom, top, should I say. And let's bring that out. And you can actually see this is a green and this is a white just there. So at the end of that is white and this is an actual green object here. as we bring the camera up or the brightness whatever you like we can see this object just here so Jeff in my conclusions what I'm looking at here is a projected image or a reflection from up here and uh, the system just broke down momentarily and everything just landed in place but we've all got theories and we've actually got no proof in any way shape or form and it's just a learning experience for everybody that's involved in our community and Jeff I must thank you very much for all your hard work if you haven't subscribed links in the description box down below please do I'm just showing it Jeff shows you how it all goes together then I come across this photo here it's uh, 30 minutes earlier than the other photo yeah it's four o'clock and the other one was 430 and the reason I picked this is because of this green lens flare here and yeah our moon is orange it's not a big LED torch in the sky number one and number two it, if it's green it's got to be reflecting from somewhere 
if you understand what I'm trying to say. Any rate, colours auto equalise. And I'm looking at this green object here. You ask yourself. That isn't the only strange thing that I'm looking at just here. We've got this object here. Is that a cloud? Possibly. It just just is very, very strange. And you can see just there. Let's bring it out a little bit. It's a little bit too close. You can see this object here. Now, if you want to know exactly how big our moon is, let me just do this for you. And there you go, there's our moon. That's exactly how big it is in that photo. Let me just reset it. And there you go. So, bring this down. And as you can see, how bright it is. And it shouldn't be that bright. But people will argue that it is the camera. Okay, let's just adjust this just a little bit. And I've got to show you something else. So we've got this green object over here, as you've just seen. And as I start doing this, something sticks out. And uh, let's just zoom into this. What is this here? really come it looks like it's got a red object in the middle um yeah lensing system it shouts lensing system to me looks like one in the middle one in the outside and they're spinning opposite directions and it looks like it's creating a big kaleidoscope in the sky this one is two o'clock in the morning and you've got this object here in fact there's two objects there and this first of all the colors also equalize and let's zoom in and you can see there's two of them there and it looks like I might be wrong that they're using two lenses and well that's down for you that's for you to decide but there you go two objects projection I've got something else stranger to show you I've been talking about red skies, but this one's even stranger. Minx Island, northeast, 69 degrees. Wednesday 9th of August 2017 is the date on the video. And as you can see, the sky is green. And now we're talking about green objects in the sky. So there is definitely a multitude of objects, that is for certain. And, well, what can I say? You can see how green this is, you know, I haven't adjusted the picture in any way, shape or form. All of a sudden you'll get to see something pop up here, which is exactly where that black spot is. It's just strange, maybe just there. Yep. We all recognize what's going on here. And you can see there's a lensing system just here in place. You get that rim around the lensing on some of these lenses and uh, yeah that just sticks out and a very very nice object going on here we got this big red hue around the uh, sun sun simulator yeah you know read it as you it shouldn't even be on camera come on guys you know really being truthful let's be real about this and then something suddenly occurs just here so we got this big red uh, yeah well, there is a big red object in the sky and that is for sure but then we get these objects just here and there's two of them it's one object I believe going through a lensing system and hey presto we get this just like that and they just disappear backwards let's have a look at another one Minx Island East, 110 degrees, so yeah, look in the background, you can see that uh, the sky is sort of greeny, sort of like yellowy colour. Let's have a look at the rest of the video. And this is just totally normal, we expect to see this thing on the camera every single day, don't we? 
and you can see the controls and we get to see these two green objects coming through the sky and yeah we still got our red hue around the sun and sun simulator and yeah this is just a normal thing to see in the sky obviously and you can see the camera overloading there where we get a rip but we got two green objects just here and you'll notice that they disappear backwards so this leads me to believe that these are projected images and the way they behave they're projected images they're certainly not lens flares because you just saw a lens flare go the opposite direction to the sun and sun simulator and there you go you can see it disappear Boom. let's have a look at one more from another camera grave point southeast wednesday 9th of august 2017 yet again camera is nice and red this sky is lovely red there and let's click through the pictures each picture is 10 minutes and it is from alaska links in the description box for everything that i'm showing or talking about and if you look at this one here we can see an object starting to appear and possibly being projected not rightly too sure but you can see how red that everything seems but this seems to be a green object or is it a white object not rightly too sure but i'm going for it's a greeny sort of color it's very very hard to make out because this object actually ends up being a ready sort of color and what i'm going to do is flick through these pictures and you can see that there's definitely something there but whether it acts like a projected image or not i'm not too sure i'm not really sure what i'm actually looking at but uh, that's for you to decide but what i've done i stuck a picture into gimp and the first thing what i'm going to do is color as always auto equalize and there you go you can see there's an object there but yet again it's for you to decide there is definitely something in the sky that's for sure right let's have a look at another picture and this is from 956 and it's near enough the last one in the range i have to show you this this is just unbelievable i think that's the best way of saying it so what we'll do we go colors auto equalize and yep there you go let's just zoom in a little bit so you can have a closer look and we go you make up your mind what we're looking at this has patterns and everything all over it but uh, who am I to say let's just do this and we do undo equalize and let's bring brightness down and the contrast up and see what we get and there you go what's this red ring what are these pans and what I've got to do is show you the last one in the series that I've got of pictures uh, 10 minutes later 10.06 and the first thing I need to do is auto equalize and there you go let's just zoom in just that little bit so we can have a closer look and yep there you go zoom back out now if we uh, undo auto equalize do the brightness and contrast and see what comes out when we do that and there you go you've got the red ring around the outside are they using holographic technology to hide these objects is that at all possible is that just being wiped out by a laser and being replaced or is that uh, yeah it's for you to decide everything's wrong you know the big distraction is going to kick off very very shortly to make us look the opposite direction these objects are here yeah you know we, they're talking about the eclipse make sure you've got food water well stocked yeah why is people going to see things they're not supposed to why is there going to be panic or yeah you ask yourself and two days later what they're going to do is have a drill uh days of darkness natural or man-made you've got to ask yourself straight away what is going on there 
Is there something going to happen that they're not actually telling us about? You make your own minds up. I'm just showing you it shouldn't be on camera. Much love, much peace, and I'll catch you next time. Do you know what I'm talking about? Do you want to know what it is? Remember, all I'm offering is the truth, nothing more.